I want to make some lenses out of jello. Oh, there it is. You see it? Ooh, I got it. Yep. Yeah, you see it's bouncing. Well, welcome back to Faraday Studios. I'm Jake Wizard 4, and I have a wit. What does it mean, wit? Wizard in training. He's wizard in training. And since he does it part-time, we call him a half-wit. Ah, ah. That's Beckett, smart man. What do you think the basis of optics is? Eyes. Close. Keep oh, going. Light. There you go, man. You got it. Light. You know how light moves about, does things? Yeah. You can actually manipulate light. These activities, a couple activities I'm going to demonstrate today. You know, you say, I don't have much optic equipment in my school. You know, it's expensive stuff and you have to have fine lenses. I've got some lenses. Really expensive things. What would happen if you passed that around at school for a while? What would you think it happened to it? <laughs> if you're careful with it, it'll last a long time, you know. Mr. Wizard owned this one and he used it on, uh, on NBC in 1950. Yeah. But we're going to show you an alternative for having these fancy lenses and fancy optic equipment. But just, just to review something real quick, here's a simple activity I just want to do just for fun. I would like you to take this glass of water. This right. is water. Okay, right. water. And I'm going to take a pencil. I want to have you take a pencil. Carefully lower it in and let go of it. Just kind of let the point, the point down at the bottom. Just, just go ahead and put it in there. Just sit back and look at that thing. Just see if you notice anything. When the pencil once enters the water, the yeah. water magnifies it, makes it bigger. Yeah, take, keep looking. It magnifies it, but there's also a drop off. Like, it looks like it's uneven. Like, it should be over here, but it's over here. That's called uh, refraction. Refraction. You can bend the path of light. I've got a uh, lens here that if I shoot a, a laser beam, which we're going to do through here, a light source, this lens will bend the path of it. Either make it go straight ahead or make it go you know, towards the center or go out, it can bend it, depending on the shape of the lens. And I went down to the uh, convenience store, they have keychains, have them on keychains, are these little cheap laser pointers. So I thought, what could I do to replicate some of this fancy equipment? For example, how does an optic cable work? And this is what it's supposed to do. You buy this piece of special plastic. If I stick it in the bottom, you can see it going through the plastic. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. And if I tip it sideways, you can see how the laser beam bounces off the inside. They call that total internal reflection. That's how an optic cable works. The substitute for the expensive lab equipment is right there. Jello. Jello. Sometimes you can find the clear stuff. They didn't have any in the store. You can get clear gelatin. That's cool. So I got yellow. We made jigglers. Look at here. Jigglers. Jiggle, jiggle, jigglers. And I use this for a mold. You can use anything you want for a mold. We'll just slice that as straight as we possibly can. And they'll try shooting a laser beam down through this and see if we get the same result. In case you have an accident, goodbye, Beckett. Bye-bye. Oh, you're going to cut the ends off first. OK, cut that off. And just kind of throw that out of the way. You got a nice straight cut now. He's got it. He's got it. He's cutting it. He's cutting it. Look at there. We got a little stick of Jello. Right? Jello stick. Jello stick. Are you ready with the laser, Elvis? Yep, ready with the laser. Hope, hopefully, this will work. Oh, there it is. You see it? Ooh. I got it. Yep. Yeah, you see it's bouncing. Well, now we know we can, we, the, the concept works. Now that's a stick, but I want to make some lenses out of jello. You know, this is convex. This is, when it goes in, it's called concave. And we're going to shoot some light through there. Right. And I wonder what having that different shape surface on the lens, how it might alter the path. And I'll just take a magic marker. You can write on I'm going to write on Jello with magic marker. Ready for this? Oh, I think I can do it in one cut. Mm. Follow that path with a knife. Went to graduate school so I could do this. But now I've got a convex lens kind of sort of. Could I have a? Yep. Oh, yeah, baby. That's amazing. Now I'm going to do this with a regular lens. It, you see how it's bending that? Look at it. I go. I come up to the lens, right? Yep. And then I move it over, and oh, you see that? It's bending it all the way over there. That lens is focusing the light from that path over to a certain spot. We call that the focal point. I wonder if my Jello thing will do the same. Look at this. Here we go. Straight across. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here. It comes. Boom. So I'm over, I'm moving that far now. I, I've got to shave this more to get this smooth, but you can see the concept. Yeah. And I can cut out a convex lens or a concave lens. Watch how the light is both reflected and refracted. Let's see which way it goes. And then when you're all done, you can eat the, eat the leftovers. You know, eat your lenses. That's what I'm saying.